Hi everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith, and in this unboxing video, we're going to be checking out, thanks to my patron community, Return to the Forgotten Age from Arkham Horror, the card game. This comes from Fantasy Flight Games. This not only is a storage solution for the Forgotten Age and its packs, it also is going to add additional content in as well, and it really is the bookend to this line before the next one begins. So without further ado, let's go ahead and flip this over, take a look at the back of the box, find out a little bit more more about this and then we'll dive inside. The box states, time is cyclical and you can find yourself once again set upon a predetermined course, only things are not as they once were. Experience the Forgotten Age campaign with all new scenario cards designed to add new surprises and challenges. This premium box can also store your entire campaign along with divider cards marked for each encounter set in the Forgotten Age cycle. Finally, this expansion contains new player cards that increase the customization options of the game. Arkham Horror the Card Game is a cooperative card game in which players take on the role of investigators unraveling a terrifying Eldridge mystery. And as you can see on the back of the box, you can see actual examples of those cards you're going to find inside the box, as well as some artwork here. And I can tell you right now, Arkham Horror the Card Game is a fantastic solo game. The first thing you're going to find inside the box is this pamphlet here in the middle which is going to explain to you how to use this expansion and it's got all the different icons listed out as well as the type of encounter sets that are going to be in there which are going to add new challenges for you. We'll go ahead and just flip this over. It's also again down here got one of the icons mentioned here. This expansion also includes a return to the rainforest encounter set which should be added to the original rainforest encounter set during any scenario in which the encounter set is used. So that's that's something to be aware of. Inside of this thing, it's going to highlight a number of different things you're going to want to be aware of. So four brand new encounter sets are included. Here is the icons going over. And then down here, we got a variant for randomized encounter sets, additional exploration rules or explore rules, additional campaign guide instructions, threads of fate, as well as an intro here, resolving that resolution, the heart of the elders, depths of Yoth, and down here at the very bottom, we have the achievement list. And this is all again related to the content added by this expansion. The icon for the expansion is right here on the back. And there's a list of achievements up top and you got your credits down below. So again, a very easy thing to store. You can leave it in the box. And as you can see right here, we have a pack of cards or some dividers underneath. It also comes with this insert here, which you can keep. I've seen people flip this over and I do this myself. I take this insert and I literally flip it the other way around. And then I just use this portion to actually house everything. And it gives me some separation between the two areas. Um, but we're going to go ahead right now and take a look at all the cards. You can tell by the top of this, there's some pretty amazing artwork involved.
The last pack here is certainly not as artistically exciting as the packs we just went through, but it's really nice to see these dividers included in these storage boxes. This is something I really like every single cycle, capping it off with being able to organize the game fully for all of the cards inside of the campaign for which it's for. You can see here it's got the similar icon across the top, it's got some terminology, and it's got a watermark to ensure that you do it all correctly. Very easy to sort these into the right spots for each of these dividers, and honestly there's a whole bunch of them. It really helps with the setup and the organization of the game. So love seeing this and really hope this kind of thing continues forward as it should in other LCGs or card games that FFG puts together. And just to show you guys what I meant by flipping the insert upside down, this is just what I do. There's a lot cleaner and probably nicer ways to go about this, but essentially just flip the insert over and then fold the flap that's sticking out inside the box and you've created yourself a little area here and again it gives you a little bit of space between this section and this section you put the major components of the entire campaign right here with all the dividers through and then you can use this section maybe for any player decks that you have or anything else that you got going on with that campaign you want to store separately i honestly find this is the easiest way to store it without having to worry about actually sectioning things off but again the dividers do a great job even if you were to turf this insert they do a perfect job of keeping things uh, under control and you also have tons of space in here almost like you could put a full finger down the side here so you're gonna have no issue sleeving this thing whether you leave the insert in and use it or you just take it out and use it with the full width of the box and that's going to conclude the unboxing for return to the forgotten age really hope this helps you make an informed decision on this one thank you guys for watching and as always keep on rolling solo